Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I'm thrilled to be here with my first 10 cards one kit video and I'm going to be featuring the Spellbinders June 2019 card kit of the month and this one is called Super Chill. As always, it is filled to the brim with goodies and there's a few extras in here too that are must-haves in my opinion so I will get into that in just a minute. The Spellbinders card making kit is absolutely one of the best deals that you can get as far as card making kits go in the industry and it just comes packed with goodies for you to create your card and also essentials like card bases and envelopes which I think is really unique to this specific kit and lots of dies always. We know that Spellbinders are known for their high quality dies so it's really great to have those in the kit as well. For the add-ons this month, everything is between $4.99 and $5.99, so you don't have to feel bad about adding those extras that you just have to have. So on the left here, we have the die cut pieces. This comes with, I'm not even sure how many pieces, I would say over 100. It's wonderful. Also, the pattern paper pad in the middle comes with three sheets per pattern, and the little stamp set off to the right there that you saw is super cute and can be added on for $5.99. Of course, you get a little Spellbinder sticker, you get some foam squares, and then also these journaling cards come in the kit, and these are really great because they're very easy to add to any project uh, that you might do. You could do it for traveling traveler's notebooks, you could do it for scrapbooking or card making. I love them so much, I think I'm going to put a few to the side for notes for my daughter when she goes back to school in September. I just think that they're perfect for that. Again, like I said, you get the 10 envelopes with card bases. I love that you get the card bases in the kit because I don't have to go into my personal stash uh, that I've already spent my money and time on scoring <laughs> and folding. So it's really nice to get them all in the kit. Also, you get this really cute tiny little score tape, some gold sequins in a bottle that you could reuse if you wanted to. And then of course the dies, there's actually three sets of dies that I'll show you today that are included in the kit. And then you get these stickers, which has three sheets for it. They're really high quality, beautiful stickers. You also get two pieces of vellum and each piece of vellum is printed with a gold foil. One of them has little bows and then one has that uh, the word type there. And then you get lots of cardstock in coordinating colors. Some of them are textured, and as you can see there at the very end, you get this really beautiful gold metallic cardstock. And it's worth noting that these are all full size, eight and a half by 11 inches. So if you don't use them all with your kits, with your cards that you're making from the kit, you can always just put them back in your stash. So let's go ahead and get started with my first of 10 cards. I'm going to be using this balloon animal die set for that. And I think that this is so cute. If you look on the um, inspiration page that you get included in the kit, you'll see that in the center, Yana has made the most beautiful card with it. And I decided I really just needed to remake that card. Um, I did do it a little bit different. I didn't want to copy, you know, image for image. So I'm using some pink cardstock for my balloon animal and it cuts out the full animal but then you get these little pieces that you can add on either with glue or foam tape just to give it a little bit more dimension. I ended up just gluing mine on because I knew that I was going to adhere it to my card front with foam tape so I didn't want to go too crazy with dimension but it, I love the way that it turns out at the end. So I'm going to be using this piece of pattern paper and this is included in that pattern paper uh, pack and it's got it's white with this gold foiling on it that's really understated but shines really nicely in the light and I absolutely love that. I'm going to be using a few of these die cut pieces and you'll see that I use a lot of the die cuts uh, throughout the entire video because they are so beautiful and they all go really well with the theme of the kit. As I said, I'm using the inspiration card as inspiration for this particular card. So I'm just setting things up the way that it looks in the inspiration guide. 
I am changing a few things here and there, things that I just think look better on my card with my colors or just the way that I'd prefer it to be set up. So I'm going to take these two sort of sunburst images and die cuts and I'm going to adhere them together with glue, but then I'm going to adhere them to that card front piece of the pattern paper with foam tape. And I'm going to adhere most of the things with foam tape to the card front, like that happy birthday banner at the bottom and the balloon animal itself. I just want this to have a lot of dimension and sort of look like a party, and all of these things are popping out and giving it a lot of life and dimension, like I said. The one thing I'm not going to be adhering with foam tape are those little pieces of paper that appear to be sequins, and that's because I want to be able to adhere the actual gold sequins that came in the kit over them a bit just to give a little differentiation between the two. So I want to be able just to adhere it right over it, and I think that I'll have a tough time if they're on foam tape. After I adhere all of the pieces to the card front on that pattern paper, I'm going to take the entire thing and adhere it with foam tape to an A2 size piece of that pink textured cardstock that comes in the kit. And I absolutely love the way that this one turned out. This kit makes tons of birthday celebration cards, which is really great to have all year round. So it's nice that I'm getting 10 cards uh, that are mostly birthday themed just out of the way right now for the rest of the year. So getting into my second card, I'm again using a couple of the die sets that come in the kit. The one I'm showing right now are the three candle dies that you get along with the flames. And you just adhere the flame to the back of those candle die cuts, and then you get a fully assembled candle. I'm using another piece of that pattern paper and this one sort of reminded me of confetti and I thought it would be really great with candles. So I'm taking some of that mini score tape that we got in the kit and just adhering this all to a piece of black cardstock and this is cut to an A2 size but thinner. So this is three and three quarters by five and a half. So you're going to have some of that black cardstock peeking out on either side. Uh, the left and the right of this card, and I think that it's going to come together really well with the uh, word dies that I've decided to use that are also included in the kit, and they say, oh joy, and I think that it just makes it really cohesive together when I have that black peeking out. For the word dies, what I'm going to do is adhere them to, I, I've cut them out twice. I've cut them once from the gold metallic cardstock and then once from uh, the black piece of cardstock that comes in the kit, both of them do. And I'm just adhering the black on top of the gold offset a little bit. That way you see the black word, but you've got a little bit of that shine as a drop shadow right behind it. And it doesn't seem like it's going to make that big of an impact, but it really does when it all comes together. And you can see just a bit of that shine behind there. This also works with white cardstock behind or a white cardstock on front and black behind. This is one of my favorite techniques to use when I need to make these tiny little word dies pop. So now I'm going to go ahead and start assembling my card and I want these candles all across the front, the card front, but I'm going to scatter them a bit so that I don't have to worry about it being perfectly straight. That's a little trick. If you can't get it perfectly straight, make it look like you did it on purpose. So I'm just going to scatter them up and down. I'm going to move them a bit or rotate them a little side to side. And this sort of gives it a little bit more whimsy as well. And I was thinking as I was putting this together that this could also be a baby shower card. I do put a happy birthday sentiment on the bottom using one of the stickers in the kit. And just to give it a little bit more uh, pop, I actually adhere the sticker sentiment itself to a white piece of cardstock and then trim around that. So it looks like it's got a matted background. And then I adhere it just to the bottom there with foam tape. But if I hadn't put the happy birthday there at the very bottom, this could absolutely be a congratulations card for a baby or for a birth announcement or something like that. And I just think it's really great when you can use the same type of inspiration and card for different occasions. I really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead now and move right into my card number three. This one is super, super simple. I'm going to be using yet another piece of that pattern paper that came in the pack because they're so beautiful. And this is probably my favorite piece. It's got this really beautiful wildflower look with these colors, this mint green and the pink together with the yellow. 
For my main image, I'm taking one of the sunburst die cuts and I'm adhering it to a piece of that gold metallic cardstock that I actually cut out with a nested circle die just slightly larger than the sunburst die cut. That way I get a nice even gold perimeter around the die cut when I adhere it with glue. I'm then going to use foam tape to adhere this to that pattern paper the top center region and then I'm just using a little bit more foam tape to adhere that sunshine word die to the very center and over that sunburst die. There's a few pieces that come in the die cuts that look almost like folder tabs and some of them say today is and hello so I'm using the word hello and adhering that right to the top of the word sunshine so that it comes together and says hello sunshine. I then go ahead and use foam tape to adhere it to one of the card bases that comes in the kit. And then I've also just used some clear drops for embellishments around the image. And this has got to be one of my favorite cards that I've made from the set. I love the way that this one turned out and it was super, super simple. For card number four, I'm back at it again with the pattern paper and die cuts because it makes it so simple. They're so beautiful and so well put together and why not use that to my advantage so I can make some really beautiful and simple cards. So I'm going to be using uh, the lemonade image, the donut image, and these hearts are actually punch outs from a butterfly that's included in the dies as well. And you just punch them out from the center of the butterflies, but I thought I can't throw these away because they look like hearts. So I was really happy when I was able to use it for one of my cards. So I'm just going to set this up and the pattern paper that I'm using has this sort of triangular shape of gold going through it and it comes together at the bottom left hand side of that cardstock from the way that I cut it out to four by five and a quarter and I wanted it to sort of hone in there and that was going to be the spot that I was going to do this setup. So I'm using the donut and the uh, lemonade together and then putting some hearts going up and then I'm using the sentiment you are which is another one of those folder tab things and then the uh, watercolor sort of like stroke that says spectacular so it comes together and says you are spectacular because who doesn't love donuts and lemonade <laughs> and I just absolutely love the way that this one came out it was it took me two minutes to put it all together and it's absolutely beautiful moving on now to card number five halfway through. I'm going a little rogue on this one. I've gone a little different. So this one is not a super feminine. There's no pink or minty blue, but I wanted to show how many different ways that you can use all of the products that are in the kit. So I'm using a piece of that vellum with the bows, uh, the gold foil bows, and I just used an oval die to cut that out as well as two nested oval dies to cut out this a sparkly gold frame for that. I'm also using a banner from the die kit, I'm sorry, from the die cut uh, pack and also that butterfly that I was telling you about before. So I'd hear that frame over that oval vellum piece and I'm going to be using this as my main image and where I want the focus to be. So I'm going to take some of that score tape and though you may be able to see through it on the vellum just a bit, not too much actually, but I'm going to put it where I want to adhere my banner sentiment. That way I can adhere the banner sentiment over that with foam tape and you won't be able to see it. You'll be none the wiser. So it's really nice when you can think ahead of time and place things where they might be able to be hidden if you can think about it ahead of time because that saved a lot of heartache for me. So I adhered that all to a piece of black cardstock with some foam tape and just added that butterfly with just the foam tape in the center so that his wings would lift up and add a little bit more dimension as well. For card number six, I'm using some of these stickers that came in the kit and they are transparent, but I've, if you put it on a white piece of cardstock, they're very bright and vibrant and very easy to read. 
So I'm using the stickers that spell out the word pretty and each letter is on its own. So I had to spell that myself, which was great because I was able to put them close together so that it would fit on this piece of cardstock. And this is cut to three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm going to use some word die cuts that say cute and happy. So when it's read all together, it's going to say cute, pretty, happy, and then have that happy birthday banner in the center right over the word pretty, which I'm going to adhere with foam tape just to give it a little bit more dimension. I love this card for one of your girlfriend's birthdays or maybe for a younger girl's birthday. The colors are giving me very like summer party vibes. So I think that it would be great for either one of those occasions. And with my friends, I have a little bit of a joke. It's called FDO. So these cards are for display only. I love making for display only cards because they are the wow factor. And the reason that it's for display only is because these things will pop out of it and it's hard to mail. So I'm going to be making one of those cards with these little butterflies that I'm actually adhering to the card base before I put this card front on with foam tape. And it just gives a lot of character to the card. Again, it would be very hard to mail this. So maybe a friend that lives close and you can hand deliver it. But I really love the way that it turned out with all the character. This next card is another fun one that I'm going to make sort of interactive. So we're going to use all these die cuts together with this really fun piece of pattern paper that's also included in the pack. I'm going to first adhere this to my card base, which is usually my last uh, thing that I do before I'm done, but I will show you and you will be able to see why this had to be done first. So I'm just taking some foam tape and putting it all over the pattern paper. The pattern paper obviously is not as thick as your cardstock, so you want to make sure that you give it a lot of foam tape, especially in the center, so that it doesn't buckle down and fold. So after I've got that adhered to my card base, I'm going to take that love die cut, which is in a rectangle, it's a full rectangle piece of uh, paper. I'm going to put some glue on just the very sides and the bottom. And I'm going to let that sit for a little while to dry completely. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to take another one of those sticker sentiments which have proven to be really helpful for sentiments in this kit. And I'm just adhering that again to make a matted background and I'm adhering it to a piece of that metallic cardstock and just trimming it to make sure that I get it even on all sides. I'm then going to put some foam tape behind that and then adhere it right below that love rectangle. So it will say, love, you are the sweetest. And since we made that little makeshift pocket because we didn't adhere the very top of that love rectangle, only the sides and the bottom, we're able to put these little die cut pieces in there and it makes for a really cute interactive card. And I thought um, if you gave this to a paper crafting friend, they could use the little die cuts in there in their crafting as well. So it's sort of like a gift inside the card for all these little pieces that they can use and it, you can take them out and put them back in any way you want. So also I think for a kid, it might be a nice idea just makes it a little bit more fun to have that interactive aspect. For the next card, I'm going to be using the stamp set, but I'm just going to be using these two hexagon shapes and I'm going to stamp them in different colors. I'm using a gold metallic ink, a pink ink and black. And I just sort of created this random hexagon pattern. And I didn't want it to all come together perfectly because I want it to look like it's sort of growing out from the center where I'm going to add this hexagon die cut piece that says, oh joy. And then these little leaves that also come in the die cut set almost as if it's sort of like a flower in the center and that all of these shapes are growing out from it. I really liked the way that it looked when I showed my husband, he said that it looked very sciencey and I agree. I think it looks really cool actually. So I, I like the way that it turned out. It's very geometric. And I think if you use different colors, you could even make this a masculine card if you wanted to. This next card is one of my favorites that I made from the kit because it just sort of made itself and as it was coming along and it has so much personality. I'm using the sunglasses die kit or set that comes in the kit and it also comes with the actual parts that goes over your ears as well but I'm only using the lenses for today. 
I'm using a couple other dies and stamps, which is the straw and the hugs and squeezes flag that goes on the straw. And my original plan was to cut this piece of pattern paper, which is this really creamy yellow color, and that it was going to serve as my sun. And I was going to do some sunglasses and say hello sunshine and as I was putting it together I was like oh my goodness this is a person that I'm making and I, I didn't realize it at first but it is now so I'm putting the sunglasses together and how you do that is you just take the two outline pieces and glue them there to that little middle piece that comes with it as well and then you can take the inside pieces which I've actually just used on a black piece of cardstock to look like the lenses and then I adhere that all right to the center of that round die cut piece. And I decided she needed hair, so I used the balloons and actually adhered it behind her head. And I think it looks a little bit like rollers to me, like she's sort of just hanging out by the pool and she's comfortable and she's drinking some lemonade. And I used one of those heart punch outs from the butterflies as lips. And I just think that it looks like her lips are pursing and she's having a sip of lemonade by the pool and I just think that's adorable. I didn't even mean for it to come out that way but it's definitely one of my favorite that I made from the entire kit. For my last card, it is the simplest card and it's beautiful. So I'm using another piece of that pattern paper from the kit and this is the lemon piece of pattern paper. I love the colors in this and I'm going to take a sentiment again, one of those sticker sentiments. This one says, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. I'm adding it to a piece of white cardstock so I can get that matted background look. Since this is going to be a very simple card, I wanted to keep a very large sentiment and I wanted it to stick out against that really busy pattern paper. So I liked the, mat the matted background for the sentiment. I'm adhering the sentiment to the card front, including a few of those little lemon die cut pieces. And then I adhere it all to one of the A2 size card bases included in the kit. And that is the 10th card. I had so much fun doing this. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Honestly, I could make easily 10 more cards with the kit, if not more. The only thing is I would have to use my own cardstock for bases. But other than that, all of the elements and components included in the kit make it so easy to just make tons of cards. You could just keep going and not stop. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. The link to the uh, card kit and all of the monthly kits from Spellbinders are in the description as well as the link to my blog with the coordinating post. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to see you again soon.